Tony Khan did a promo, plugged the July 17th Collision debut, United Center, and then announced that Collision would feature CM Punk. Well, that's the worst kept secret in, in the universe. Um, Another big mixed reaction. Very big, very, a lot of cheers and a lot of boos. Yes. Even bigger maybe than Vegas. Um the people who, I mean, there's people really excited he's coming back, and there's people really mad he's coming back. Um, we'll see. I mean, in Chicago, it's not, you know, it's very smart to debut him in Chicago because he's going to get a great reaction in Chicago, really great. Um, but I wonder, you know, I mean, again, some depends on the nature of his promo, and and he's very good at promos, so I think it'll be. I think it'll be good, but man, it'll be interesting when they get to like Hamilton with no fans, <sighs> Toronto with very vociferous fans in an empty arena, or hopefully not that empty, but looking pretty empty. Chicago, um, you know, they were they were up around uh, seven thousand, just a little under seven thousand when the announcement was made, which is at this point not bad for AEW. So um, we'll see what, you know, I mean, I, I think the thing to see now is is over the next couple of days, how all of those, how Newark, which was do, which was doing OK, and Calgary and these other, you know, Regina, which was doing terrible, how some of these shows now do now that it is official and they know that punk is going to be there. So um, we'll get a lot better uh, read on, you know, is, is he, you know, is he going to be a big ticket mover? You know, obviously Chicago he is, but we knew that going in. But as far as, you know, in week three and in week four, you know, what's he going to mean? And uh, we're going to know that in a week. And obviously the um, they decided not to follow uh, what they did before, you know, where they don't announce it. I mean, they announced it. And I think partially to get some of those ticket sales up and, and to get the build for that uh, – that first episode of Rampage. Um, and I'm sure that they've got other surprises for... I know that there was supposed to be one more surprise, which you can speculate on, for the first episode of Rampage to go with the big announcement of Punk. Um, so we'll see if it is, if there is someone. Um, but I think the first episode... I'm sure the first episode will be very newsworthy because it has to be. We had Trent, Big Bill, and Swerve in a three-way. They had a good match. We had Bill and Trent fighting on the apron. Bill chokes, slamming him into the ring. But then Swerve wiped out Bill with a stomp from the post of the apron, pinned Trent with a crucifix. Yep, to set up uh, Swerve and Orange Cassidy, mm -hmm. which is next Wednesday. Yep. Great promo with uh, Chris Statlander about her title win. Yeah, and that was cool. That was a cool package. Yep. Renee interviewed the acclaimed and daddy ass and... Long story short, Billy says, man, you know, I let I let these guys down. I love these guys. Sad I let them down. And uh, Max ends up saying, dude, don't blame yourself. We were undefeated in six mans until we ran into those guys. We're a great trio. And then Bowens uh, basically promises that they will win the titles with Billy Gunn because they love him. So sure. they're still in that uh, six man. I want to make a mention, okay, because we, we didn't talk about this on uh, much on on uh, Sunday night, but the the way they do the lighting in the House of Black thing, because you were at ringside, you didn't see this. If you're in the upper deck, they have like it's really unique lighting. It's actually quite a spectacle in the building that didn't come across on TV. I mean, I may have come across on paper, I couldn't tell. But as far as their other matches on TV, you don't see it. But the negative of it, which is one of the reasons the heat was down in that match, is that you end up, because the lighting is so cool, the way they light the, um, the side of the ring that the hard camera's on, that you end up like looking at, this is really cool lighting, and it, and it takes you away from the match. You're not watching the match, you're watching the light show. And... That's nice and cool, but it's going to keep you from getting a lot of big crowd reactions for the match itself. So, um, you know, I mean, very, very creative and um, ineffective, um, you know, it, 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 it or detrimental to the match itself. So um, sometimes special effects are good, 
You know, and we've seen it with WWE. Sometimes special effects take you out of the match. Not so good. We had Tony calling out Callis and Takeshita, and of course, as noted, Callis just got oh my god, absolutely nuclear heat for this. That guy. was amazing. I got to say this, like, um, he, you know, you see all of these guys that play heel, and all these managers that are heel managers, and you know, whatever it is, you know, I mean, Heyman's really good, no, but no doubt about it. Although Heyman now, he's not going to get this kind of reaction because everybody finds him so entertaining and the the, the bloodline's pretty much a babyface group anyway. So, you know, you're not going to get that. You know, and Roman's, you know, even he, oh, even though he's a heel, he gets cheered everywhere. But, um, man, this is like, this was like a professional heel manager like over professional heel manager, they booed him so loud, and you know they booed freaking Takeshita when he um, tried to speak, and they were really smart in making him speak Japanese because when they hate you and then you talk a foreign language, it's easy, it's easy heat. It was very well done. The whole thing was very well done, and um, you know he mentioned, you know the idea. I mean it was. They threw out the idea of Okada and Takeshita in, in that interview. Obviously, Kenny Omega and Takeshita are doing a singles match. Don't know when, but that one's coming. Man, that should be a freaking awesome match, too. He basically talked about how uh, he had taken Kenny to all of these different things, the IWGP title, AEW title. Talked about the scar on his head he had to look up at, at every day when he looked in the mirror. Blamed it on Omega, destroyed his family. He says, I may have lost a nephew, but I gained a son. That was the one that got the biggest pop of all, I think, was when he did that line. He said Takesha was the best athlete he'd ever seen in wrestling. He was better than Ricky Dozan, Inoki, Maeda, Muto. And yes, he's better than Okada. And he says he's better than Kenny Omega. Takeshita cut a promo in Japanese and vowed to destroy the elite and Kenny. And then Callis said he was going to build a new family and cut the elite out of AEW. This segment, this guy got Dominic Mysterio level heat. Uh, I mean, just, I think more. Well, I mean, Dominic Mysterio gets incredible heat from the reports in the building. This was like the biggest heel reaction they'd ever seen. So it was, it was, man. I mean, it reminded me of the, you know, the Garvins when they were in Montreal, you know, which was like thirty years ago. I mean, this was unusually. Great heel heat. Um, I mean, there there was there were periods. I think Sean, um, at certain periods, had this. Um, man, I don't know who else. Um, I mean, Roddy Piper probably did as a heel. You know, in in the eighties. Um, man, who else? Kind of, you know. I mean, I think there was a superstar Billy Graham. His funeral's tomorrow, by the way. Um, and but but yeah, it was uh, it was unusually great heat. This plaque, I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh, no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, 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 no. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.